Hi and welcome. In this video we will demonstrate how you can move your Microsoft Access database into a Microsoft Azure environment with little to no manual effort. CU2Global's 2SQL program will automatically convert your Access database to a SQL Azure database now called SQLDB running under Access 2013 or 2010 and the Windows Server 2012 platform. 2SQL Azure will automatically convert between 95 and 100% of your Access database and application significantly reducing or eliminating the need for any manual cleanup effort. OK, let's start. First, we'll log into our Azure portal and go to our Windows Server 2012 Azure VM environment. There are two virtual machines in this environment, one running Access 2010 and the other Access 2013. We will use the Access 2013 VM for this conversion. Next, we connect our workstation to the Azure virtual machine using Microsoft's remote desktop software. We have already uploaded the Access database we wish to convert, in this case Microsoft's Northwind Access 2003 database to the virtual machine by simply copying and pasting it from our workstation. Let's launch 2SQL to migrate and convert this database to SQL Azure. In this part of the demonstration we are using an instance of SQL Azure which is in the same environment as our Azure VM on our Azure portal. This configuration is the equivalent of an on-premise local area network communicating but in the cloud. Before starting the conversion process, let's take a look at the application settings of 2SQL to confirm that our SQL server connection is pointing to SQL Azure. SQL Azure instance names always contain database.windows.net in their instance name. We'll select our Northwind database and give 2SQL the go-ahead to proceed. As we want to convert Northwind at this time, we select the 2SQL upsizing genie process from the conversion options panel and hit OK. We still need to enter our SQL Server Authentication Password here, although this part of the process can be automated in various ways, depending on the level of security required. To SQL is now determining all of the objects in the Northwind database. It will process all the tables, queries, forms, reports and modules in various phases. The beginning phase for each object are in the analysis mode so 2SQL can gather all the information it needs. To SQL will determine the properties of all tables and queries and their dependencies before it applies any changes. It will then analyze all the properties of the form and report objects that can contain SQL syntax expressions. For example, the record source property of a form can be a SQL statement. Here, the 2SQL alert messaging system is warning us of a minor restriction of SQL Azure. These and other alerts are logged by 2SQL for review and follow-up, so let's turn it off and complete the conversion. The final stages are in rectification mode, whereby 2SQL is applying changes to the Microsoft Access database and to the SQL Server database it has already created automatically. 
In rectification mode, 2SQL will create all the table schema in SQL Server and migrate the data. The conversion of table schema includes column types, indexes, foreign key constraints, validation rules and default values. It will then convert all the query objects in Microsoft Access to SQL Server views or stored procedures. SQL Server triggers will be created by 2SQL where necessary to replicate exactly the behaviour of the original Microsoft Access application. The SQL statements in the forms and reports will be converted to SQL Server views. Finally, 2SQL will analyse all VBA code modules and automatically convert several commands in the VBA framework to SQL Server compliance. It will also convert the DAO object library and ADO as part of the optimization process. We now have a notification that the 2SQL Genie has successfully processed the Access database. On completion, we are presented with a summary of issues grouped against their respective 2SQL conversion components. 2SQL has concluded that if you would have tried to resolve these 1061 issues manually, the time required to would be in excess of 241 hours. How long would it take your company to complete this project manually? Now let's exit 2SQL and go back to the 2SQL demo folder in Windows Explorer. We now have a new converted front end of the Northwind database. This database is now in Access 2013 and connected to SQL Azure with a 100% two-tiered client server methodology implemented automatically by 2SQL. Let's open up the converted database in this LAN environment on our Azure portal. We can see that it is now utilising Access 2013, having been converted and migrated from its original Access 2003 form. As before, we need to enter a password because SQL Azure uses SQL Server authentication. Let's navigate to the Table Object Viewer and open the Customers table. We can see that the connection string is pointing to SQL Azure. All the data that was originally in Access Tables now resides in SQL Azure. The response time is the same as a LAN environment on-premise because the SQL Server native client driver has been built to acknowledge SQL Azure connections. Now let's open the order forms from the main switchboard. This form utilises the very powerful feature of Microsoft Access called subforms. Forms with subforms place extra demands on the connection to SQL Server. If the conversion is not done correctly, Microsoft Access will download all the data from the server and process it on the client side severely compromising performance. As you can see, there is no compromise in performance because 2SQL has implemented underlying architectural enhancements that allow the SQL server native client to leave as much as possible on the server to do its processing. The 2SQL methodology utilizes true two-tier client-server architecture. We have seen the converted database function successfully in an environment where both Access and SQL Azure are operating within the Azure VM. Now let's copy and paste the converted Northwind front end to our on-premise workstation and run the application from there. Note that all we are doing is a copy and paste. We are not changing the architecture, which means that all of the data still resides in SQL Azure in our VM. Additionally, all of the SQL statements in the original queries forms and reports have also been moved to the SQL Azure backend and all the objects and expressions inside the Access database have been moved to SQL Server wherever possible. Let's open the database like we did before. Note that this time we are using Access 2010 on our workstation. 
The important difference is that this time we are on premise in our local environment and are connected to SQL Azure in a WAN environment. Although this is a valid configuration and one that you may choose to adopt, it does place additional demands on the SQL Server native client with regard to robustness and performance. As you can see, the connection string for the customer table still points to SQL Azure. The difference in performance is minor, and it is important to note that much of this depends on the robustness of the company's internet connection. Let's review the orders form once more from the main switchboard, remembering that this form utilizes the Microsoft Access feature of subforms and also remembering that the form with subforms places extra demands on the connection to SQL Server. Although not quite as responsive as experienced in our previous configuration, the performance remains satisfactory. In this short video, we've been able to showcase some of the key to SQL Azure technology and framework for Windows by copying our Access database into Azure and performing an automated conversion and migration completely inside our Azure portal, showing that the result of the 2SQL technology and methodology for conversion and migration of access to SQL Azure is operational in Windows Azure and SQL Azure. And after copying the converted Microsoft Access front end back to our on-premise workstation, we showed that the same front end remains operational on-premise. Please feel free to visit and contact us via our website at seeyoutoglobal.com.